So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input is a diagram question. Um, and the strategy that we want to use with diagram is we want to label the diagram with any information that we can and also make sure that we're paying attention to the information provided in the question and labeling as well. So the question says, in the figure shown below, E and G lie on line segment, line segment AC. So we see that EG is on line segment AC. Um, then we also see that D and F lie on line segment AB. So D and F lie on line segment AB. Line segment DE and line segment FG are parallel to line segment BC. Okay, so I'm going to just draw in my parallel symbols here. And that's very useful because there's some things I can say about this diagram based upon the fact that those lines are parallel, especially with regard to angles here. But let's see if we... Um, what the question is actually asking for. So we're told, and the given lengths are in feet. So we see the 8, the 16, the 7, the 6 here. Those are all in feet. What is the length of AC in feet? So we want to figure out the length, this entire length here that I drew earlier. So I don't need any angles, which is my first thought whenever I see parallel lines. But what I can do is I can relate these sections to each other. Okay, and this is, you can only do this when you have parallel lines intersecting like a larger shape, right? So I'm looking at this as I have this large triangle out here, and then I broke it up by adding these parallel lines in here. So what I'm telling you is that we can relate, right, side A to B and C to D and E to F. In fact, the relationship would be here that the ratio or the <clears throat> yeah the ratio of a to b is equal to the ratio of c to d equal to the ratio of e to f so let's use that to answer this question so we have our a to b we know is 8 over 16 equals 7 over eg right that's our d and it equals 6 over gc Okay, so if we cross multiply using this proportion, right, two ratios equal to each other, I can say, well, 7 times 16 is 112, and then I have 8 times EG, divide both sides by 8, and EG would equal 14, right, so I know this is 14. So line segment EG equals 14. Now to focus on this proportion here, these two ratios. So I have 7 over 14 is equal to 6 over line segment GC. So I can simplify this to 1 over 2, right? 7 over 14 reduces to 1 half. So 1 half equals 6 over GC. And that would mean that GC, and let's, let's just do the math, right? So if I cross multiply, I get GC times 1, which is just GC, 6 times 2, which is 12, right? So GC equals 12, so this is 12. So now in order to figure out the entire length of AC, I'm just adding up all the numbers. So 16 plus 14 equals 30, plus 12 equals 42, and therefore the answer is choice D.